Welcome back to the channel today. What have we got inside here? Something that's very small, I can see. Oh my goodness, it is small. Look at that. Mega Drive 2. Mega Drive Mini. Now that, to put it in perspective, is ridiculously small. <laughs> There's a PlayStation Classic. Yes. And let's get the other box. There we go. The original. Wow. That is humongously uh, humongous the original. It's like half the size. Wow. Anyway. Let's have a look at the back. So small, I can't believe it. Get rid of all that. Let's see what's inside. Very neatly packaged, this is. The looks of it, so look. So, so the USB cable. So, micro cable, micro USB cable. And HDMI. Yes. Can do that. Oops, sorry about the camera shaking there. That's the new controller. Hmm, it does look a bit nicer. Okay, so that. Work. Very nice. Now, let's have a look at the size of this. Oh my goodness, that's small. There we go. Wow, very diddy. Let's compare that to the original, or the, the first classic. There we are. So, very, very small and compact. Feels more premium. Actually, that one's just feel quite premium. Um, it's the PlayStation one doesn't feel premium, so yeah, very. Right. Slots there. So, Mega Drive Mini. Let's uh, get it all powered up and uh, play some games. So here we go. All set up. See to confirm. So there we go, there's the interface. Let's go and play our one. Let's go for it. <laughs> oh, what should we go for? Passing breeze. Let's 
So you get magical sun, shower, pleasant breeze, splash wave, stuff all day. It's a good flower. Get ready. Controls for a lot nicer than the original, actually. Whoa, I crashed already. Can't be me. There's nothing on the road. <laughs> so, yeah, one of the reasons I picked this one because Outland was on there and uh, it's not on the PlayStation Store or Steam or anything. It's on the Nintendo, I think. But, uh, games like this, you I kind of miss from the arcade because it's just proper chill. It's a bit of fun, really, to be honest. There's quite a few of these on the system. There's probably about four games that I uh, regard as uh, my true favourites. Uh, but the, the rest of the library is pretty good. I'm going to try uh, try them all much, eh? Are you going to pick this up? I mean, it is a bit more expensive. I was a bit kind of wary about buying this, but I mean, to be honest, the price is probably going to be uh, go up anyway. Um, and just the fact that you've got one controller is a bit off-putting as well. Um, and there are some multiplayer games in there, so... Anyway, that's just a brief look at that one. Let's go back. Can you hold... Can you hold the start button? It goes back to the menu. Yeah. Right, I just press that one, isn't it? Turn to the main menu. That's good, it looks like it puts it at the top if you just played it, so that's decent. So it does it strike, wow, yes. So they go with that one. <clears throat> the audio sounds pretty good actually, quite like the audio. That's one thing I was worried about is how it sounds. And I haven't played this for years. Okay, Captain. <laughs> oh, the controls are not very good for this. You gotta get used to this. Wow. Okay, you can have to hit the D-pad right in the middle to get some kind of... <laughs> Weapons armed. Here we go. Oh man. Oh, it's pretty much like I was playing this. Oh, yeah. Forget Call of Duty. This is what, uh, this is what you need. Break out in there. Actually, the controls are quite good, actually, once you get used to them. Uh, I remember them. Whoa! No way, dude. Oh man, I'm gonna play this for hours. This this is already better than the first one. <laughs> oh no, danger zone. <laughs> cool, let's try another one quickly. Final fight there as well. It's, uh, it's 
see if he's out there. Let's see if I'm sure. Quite looking forward to playing the Night Trap, actually. I've never played that before. So. And, yeah, there's quite a few actually that I've never really played, so. Super hang on, come on, yes. I remember playing these in the arcade. <laughs> so that's the main reason I bought this, was because of those few uh, few games on there, but... Uh, there's a whole load of them. Oh dear, there's a lot of delay, the controller's a lot of delay, look at that, pressing, that's not good, that's really bad actually, press, oh my goodness that's terrible, so you know what's causing that. <clears throat> Massive delay. Hmm. Come back to that one. <laughs> that's that's pretty disappointing, actually. That I have to say. Here you go, Street Fire. Well, we're just to look at some stuff that uh, we don't necessarily see. Let's go to uh, Hail Fury. Yeah, I'm a bit disappointed with that super hang on actually, to be honest. Shame if it's got input delay. I'll have to try a, new, a different controller or something. The one of the reasons I hated the PlayStation Classics and Sega games was input delay. There's so much input delay in that, I think. Um, I just, Oh, is this a, just a watch it one? Okay, we'll forget that one and just go find something different. The sun will probably play that. <laughs> got Streets of Rage 3, the ooze. I played the ooze, I've never heard of that before. Let's get this, let's get, get into the gameplay. The ooze! Oh, I can play here. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's like quick scenes. So what do we have to do?
Okay. <laughs> no idea what that's about, but uh, I'll get used to that probably soon. Just want to have a quick run through of what's uh, available. Um, I mean, Echo the Dolphin, I don't know why they put that shit on there, to be honest. It's, uh, I don't need that. Um, look at that Midnight Resistance, never heard of it. I mean, I grew up with a Master System, so I'm waiting for them to do that. I wish they would do it. Um, Paperboy was one I grew up with. <laughs> Very simple. Oh, dude. I think it's the D-pad that's not... I don't like this D-pad at all. I think I prefer the old one. Oh. Oh, dude. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, kind of a mixed feelings about this, um, to be honest. No ACD adapter included. Pretty annoying, that. Uh, Final Fight is good, I know that. Interesting game to look at. Jeez, I might actually be blind playing this. So it's like a space area, but with a spacecraft. Okay, for me. Okay. Oh, uh, I mean, the pictures are quite. Not sure how to do that. Oh, I don't Be careful, I didn't see that bridge. Let's just switch to something else. I didn't die before we finished. stuff we got on there. That's the multiplayer one, isn't it? Uh, um, ba -ba -ba -ba, shining in the darkness. Super locomotive. Let's see if this was worth uh, actually being put on there. It's a little train game. So this never actually released today or something. <laughs> There's no actual audio, which is strange. So there we go. So I tried Super Hang On again uh, afterwards and uh, 
it appears that when the um, bike is actually going, it's not that bad, the delay, but when you're kind of stationary trying to make a little bit of a movement, it's, um, it's, a, it's a notable delay. I don't know if it's just my controller or something defect, but yeah, pretty disappointed with that. But uh, overall, I'm pretty mixed um, on this console, to be honest. I do think it's punching a bit of its weight. Uh, at the price that it's actually going for, hundred pounds, uh, especially with one controller. I think they just tried to fit it in the smallest packaging ever <laughs> to make it stand out and unique with these um, with these good good games on there. But there are some good games on there. I don't know if I need to go and see if they've changed the soundtrack on um, Outrun because I think they have because I didn't uh, didn't click unless I didn't just get far enough. But I didn't get far at all. But. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm a bit uh, a bit mixed on this one. Uh, but yeah, this is my first look at it. And impressions and a bit of gameplay. Oh, we can't. 